Hi, I'm Mark Fulton with Sysdig Customer Success. Today we'll learn about groupings in Sysdig Monitor. Groupings within Sysdig Monitor define the area of the environment that we want to view metrics for. This can be an on-premise or cloud-based infrastructure, physical hosts, or orchestrated through Kubernetes. Out of the box, we'll have different groupings available depending on what's available to the environment and what Sysdig auto detects. So you can see here that we start out with hosts and containers as being the physical side of the environment. We also have Kubernetes deployments and pods which are being picked up from our Kubernetes orchestrator. And we also have some AWS related um, metadata to organize the environment as well. We'll learn how we can slice and dice each of these to, de to define a grouping that makes sense for our environment. Though out of the box, these do take care of most use cases. Starting out with the physical side of the environment, we can familiarize ourselves with how the grouping is defined. Each different grouping tag is broken down into chevrons here, and these can be changed uh, on demand. So we can see that we have host names here and uh, the container ID listed. We could change this, for example, to the container name. Or if we need something that's going to be more useful for a developer-centric view, we can go with deployments and pods and then view the environment from a Kubernetes or service-orientated perspective. Now, we're splitting up by namespace, deployment, pod, and finally, the container ID. But we know that we're using some AWS here as well, and we've completed the additional AWS integration steps in Sysdig. So wouldn't it be great if we could also view, categorize the environment by AWS region, for example? We can do that with Sysdig very simply. So we can just check, adjust the first tag. And use the region here. And then you can see that that initial tag has been placed. And then we can see all the Kubernetes deployments in that particular region. We could then also update these if we wanted to have the namespaces, then the deployments, and then the pods. So now we can see all of the namespaces that are in AWS region US East 1, followed by the deployments and pods there as well. If you want to save this grouping for later use, we can do that by clicking on Save Current Grouping. And then we've saved that for use later on. Once we have defined an area of the environment that we want to look at through a grouping, we can go ahead and click on that application entity to view metrics and dashboards for it. Let's go ahead and click on this example Java app. This is going to now overlay different dashboards and panels as well as metrics on the overlay view. We'll review that in a later video. So this just about wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching this short video about groupings in Sysdig Monitor and how you can slice and dice those to meet the needs of your environment.